I wanted to go over how I'm wiring the batteries in my Jeep. I'm adding a second battery in case I leave an accessory or something on and I'll still be able to jump start myself basically. In this example we have, uh, we'll just call this battery 1 and battery 2, that's more visual than actually having two batteries. And I have a solenoid to isolate the two. And once this side of the solenoid is grounded out, what will happen is it will connect it so the other battery is on. And there's two ways that it'll be grounded out. And one way is through just normal to maintain the battery is when the Jeep's running, I have this oil pressure sending unit. When it gets, I believe it's 4 PSI, it will activate the solenoid so that both batteries are being charged. Another way to do it is with this pressure switch here. So if this battery goes dead for some reason, the solenoid should keep it completely disconnected and I could just hit that switch. And what that will do is that will allow it to go on. You might want to pause the video at this point and take a look at this diagram. So in the diagram I have battery 1 and battery 2 and everything's grounded together. It's not shown but there's a ground from the um, body to the engine block. And then also what's not shown in this diagram is a solenoid has a positive that loops back from battery 2. And the, two, the theory for that is if the battery 1 is dead, that battery 2 should not be dead and it should have enough to energize that solenoid and still allow me to start the Jeep.